Hello, I'm Olsen Henry 2, Fox Shorts Time on Golf, and today we are tearing down this Cisco 5GHz Omna antenna. It supposedly has 4 decibels of gain, 4 dBi. It's an Air Ant 5140YVR with RPTNC, which, well, has decent error performance. It's pretty annoying to use because nothing uses it. I don't have any, have any adapters, but it's for it and so on. And plus, I don't have any 5 GHz equipment with RPTNC. So we're tearing this down and then uh, seeing if we can reuse it. So let's take these obvious screws out first. Just to remove it from this plastic. Nope. There's a steel plate underneath. So we have to open the SMA-like connectors here. Thankfully, it's a T9 Torx, so not like a Imperial Allen screw, which I've encountered. Instead, it, it seems to be a 2.5 millimeter screw with a T9 screw head on it, so a nice Torx one, which makes sense from Cisco's perspective, because the size 9 Torx, T9, it's T9 everywhere in the world. Unlike Allen screws, which can be imperial or metric, and when you have an imperial Allen screw, in something and you're in Europe, you get to hammer something like this Torx screwdriver into it and use that to open because some Torx is somewhat fit the Imperial Allen screws because of course none of the Imperial sizes are nowhere near any of the metric ones, especially in like what you'd encounter in the 440 and so on, which is like the Americana M M3 screw. So, there we go, it's like a sond, so pretty boring, it's a, hmm, 12 millimeters long, and overall length is 15 millimeters, it's approximately, I'd say that's 4 millimeters, yeah, 4 millimeters wide, Yes, it doesn't fit actually 3.4, but it fits the 5mm one quite well. Yeah, I guess that's close enough. So, same as um, a bit smaller than number 10 American drill bit, and less than M5. Okay, but yeah, the neat thing here is that this. Flange is the same as on an SMA in terms of screws. So if we can desolder this or something, we can reuse the coax without opening it up here and just cutting it off and using the coax as well, you know, coax. But let's remove the last one so we can free the plate and start going deeper inside. So, three sounds, some Cisco proprietary coax, which is a bit stiff. Well, it's stiffer than RG58, at least, even if the size is similar. In, if you're lucky, RG58 SMAs and type ants fit this, so we can reuse it for something. I'll also have to see if I can just heat this up with a soldering iron and it pulls off, or if it's scrimped or something similar, which would be a, a bit more annoying. So, this plate now detaches. Underneath, we have an, an additional plate with the M3 holes for these 
original mounting screws on this, and then the SMA screws. Well, the, almost SMA. So we have, yeah, we have here some space. So let's pop this open just with some force because it's a steel plate. The antenna elements have already been removed unless there is some parasitic elements on inside, which there aren't. So this plate is 17 centimeters long and 7 centimeters wide or 2 inch, 2 and 3 fourths of an inch wide and what do you say? 6.7 inches long. So this most definitely will fit and work with my plans because I'm planning on adding a 9 centimeter brand or band or the 3.4 gigahertz amateur radio band by quad inside of this and reusing it like that and just mounting an SMA here and using that as a standoff to the antenna element and mount the ground to, so with some copper strip to the screws because those usually are, are solderable. The backplate itself says that it's made by Foxconn in 2008. So, well it's what, 12 years old, not that bad for the usual microwave stuff I encounter anyways. The Big question because on 3.4 gigahertz we want the element to be 11 millimeters above that back plate. So let's see if we have space. We have just about enough. We have like 15 millimeters or 14 millimeters space here. So approximately 14 and a half centimeters long, which also fits it very nicely and it's 40 point something millimeters wide, which also fits the Y quad for 3.4 gigahertz very nicely. So that's what we're gonna do with this one. So this was the Cisco 5 gigahertz 5 4 dBi omnidirectional antenna, Irant 5.1. For VR, which was fairly boring inside because if we look, it's just four of these coming like this outside the plate. Which, well, actually, how much distance do we have here? This is five centimeters, and that's five gigahertz, is what? A bit below six centimeters in terms of wavelength. So it's at least one wavelength distance between the antennas, so I guess they don't couple that badly. So that's done. Let's see if we can remove any of these elements with the soldering iron. Let's have something to hold it in place. Let's turn that up to 300. Celsius and use some solder here so that the heat transfers properly. And it's not like I'm gonna reuse the original probes for anything. They're not resonant on the handband and they're gonna be really annoying to modify to be shorter anyway. So let's heat it up and see if we can pull it off. Appears to be quite stiff. Even if it is fully warmed up, it's a pretty big sonder, so it might take some warming up. It might be interesting if I were to make some waveguide stuff 
to use this as a way. Oh, okay. Apparently, just needed some force, which. If you can see, this is like an SMA connector style plug. So is there actually an SMA connector inside? Just a crimp. Let's see if we can loosen this enough so that it pulls out and we can take a look at how it was connected to the coax in the first place. Because this doesn't look crimped, at least on a to my casual eyes. There we go. Oop, this looks crimped. They re so they really made these. So and the center pin is just. Going to slip over it, over it, over it, I guess. It has some spring action, but still, I guess. Yeah, it has a spring. It's pretty tight fit. Well, interesting. So I guess you could pull this off, and if you had a late, late them down the length and then reuse these as webguide transitions or something because this looks like this could work for a webguide trans transition on some high band might be actually too long for 5.6 or even 5 gigahertz might work for some band around there which would be an interesting test so it might not be completely useless as is but yeah this was just crimped Coax has foil and then a uh, pretty dense, but I think this is uh, just a single layer, but uh, still a bit pretty good braid. So this is certainly not RG58 size. This is the center conductor is a bit th the center foam and stuff is a bit thinner. I guess it has quite a bit of braid then, which makes it quite thick. But yeah, this was the Cisco antenna. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the, or actually be notified about the 3.4 GHz antenna project, click subscribe, click the bell icon, of course, if you like this, click the like button. So I know that people actually care about it. Comment on what kind of projects you'd want to see. I'm gonna Try to get some momentum going on with this channel from previous years. Mostly tear down some projects and fiddling around with microwave stuff. Anyway, cheers! This was Osu Henry 2, Foxhort Tango Golf.